Israel has the largest percentage of vegans per capita in the entire world, a little known fact, and an estimated 400,000 Israelis, which is about 5% of the population, are vegan, and this does not include the vegetarians. Yes, there's a big difference. Uh, well, not really big, but it's no surprise that Israel's Meatless Monday has gained momentum, and here with more is TV journalist Mickey Haimovich. Hello and welcome to the show. Thank you. You are very, very uh, famous here in Israel, being a, being an anchor, a newswoman for, for many, many years. Yeah. What was it like, you know, covering, you know, Israel over all of these years before it is, uh, you know, the startup nation that it is now? Well, you know, it was very hectic, always. Of course. Very, very Never busy. a dull moment. Never a dull moment, and sometimes very hard, uh, because the news here, you know, being an anchor woman here, it's, it has also a special, I think, psychological burden on you. So that's after true. 18 years, I decided that it's enough. It was too much. I mean, that's it the interesting thing I find, is it's true. Like, yeah. Israel's the only country where everybody watches the news and everything yes. that happens yes. affects everybody not like the states where i work you can work in new york something happens in queens it doesn't mm -hmm. affect people in manhattan yes yes and so for many years i was there all the time mm -hmm. delivering the news which were not almost, all which is often <laughs> very very sad it's, it's very often sad and hard yeah. and so after 18 years i decided that i needed some time off and uh, i decided to devote my time to do something for the for, world. This, for the world, so you especially you for animals. And mm -hmm. you were always a vegetarian? For 28 years wow. now, I'm a vegetarian. Before there were vegetarians. Yeah. I think there were, <laughs> some, there were some. I was, yeah, but I was... But you were the weird one like, then. <laughs> I was like, my, my mother-in-law used to say, I'm, I was a non-problematic vegetarian. Right. Because <laughs> I, I, used, I used to eat the, you know, the side dishes, and I really, I didn't... I didn't try to convert anyone. I didn't try to tell people why I am. I, you know, it's something. I, I was a vegetarian besides being a mom, be, right. being a career woman, be, be, besides all other things. Right. And what changed? I think it was in 2009. I saw a piece uh, on CNN about Paul McCartney. Paul McCartney launched the Meat Free Monday campaign in the UK, and that I think I didn't realize he started because I know his wife. You know, did, she was the one that did, did a in lot the of UK. But the man who started it in the world is a man called Sid Lerner. He's an American, okay, from New York, an old advertising person, and he with the Johns Hopkins Hospital on I think it was 2003. They tried to find ways to persuade Ameri Americans to eat more healthy food. Mm -hmm. And that they came out with this idea of one day without meat. And the idea was that if you take out the meat, especially for Americans, that that's so, <laughs> so, you know, I like my meat, <laughs> but I live with a vegetarian, so this is a problem for but me too. The idea was, it was, it, it was after the obesity came out, so, mm -hmm. you know, everyone was discussing what to do with the obesity rates in, in the United States. So they, they offered people, take out the meat and bring inside of them, eat in, instead of it, eat uh, legumes and, uh, and uh, vegetables and fruit and grains, things that Americans don't eat regularly. <laughs> you know, something more like the Mediterranean yes. diet that we are used to here. So this was the start of, the campaign started as a campaign for health, for right. obesity. Right. And in 2006, the UN um, issued a report called Livestock's Long Shadow, which um, try to see the footprint, the carbon footprint of the livestock industry. And the, the, the results were amazing because like 18% of the footprint of carbon in, in, the, in, the, mm -hmm. in the world mm -hmm. comes from a livestock industry, wow. which is more than all, wow. all the transportation in the world. That's all the cars. Insane. I mean, with yes, all of the people, people really don't know that. So, and now the campaign is, is saying something that you do something that is good for you, good for your health, and something that is good for the for planet. The world. For so the what's world. the so you started the one here in Israel, yes. which is so you know, is, which is I great. Finished, so what is how is the Israel yes. Meatless so, Monday? So, so when I when I retired from the news, I decided to do something, you know, and so I and the idea was to bring the campaign here, the initiative, and. We are, um, in the last uh, six years that we're doing it here in Israel, we are focusing especially on, on um, dining halls of very big corporates, mm -hmm. like in the dining hall of Intel, SAP, uh, HP, um, uh, governmental offices, Ministry of uh, Health, Ministry of uh, uh, Justice, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and all those dining halls, which are, uh, I think, uh, uh, that, big. Uh, yeah. it's very big. H hundreds of thousands of people are yeah. working there and on those places every Monday it's a special day and it doesn't mean that there's no meat but there's less meat and much more. much more variety of uh, of vegetarian and vegan dishes so people can see that it's easy it's 
tasty. There's a lot of things to eat. <laughs> and um, I think this is our main success here in Israel. And we're also working with, uh, with schools because we're trying to also to have one day without meat in the school. Well, and it's the great for the kids to kind of learn the importance of, of eating vegetables.